Welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be learning how to invent. And today's challenge is that you are going to try and slow down the descent or the fall of a paperclip or a bobby pin. What you're going to need for today's activity are several half sheets of paper and either some bobby pins or some paper clips and also a pair of scissors. And you are going to make several different designs to try and slow down how quickly something falls. So I'm gonna start by making the design I know will not, absolutely will not work. I'm gonna put my paper clip on here before I crumple it so that I make sure it gets in there, but be careful that you're not hurting your hand as you do it. So there's my control one. I know that this is going to fall fast. Now I wanna try and design some ways that I think will fall slowly. Lately, I've been watching the leaves falling off the tree in my yard and I noticed that there's certain characteristics to leaves that fall really slowly. Now leaves we know are light, like a piece of paper, but what is it that makes them, instead of falling straight down really fast, makes them kind of fall like this. Sometimes they even turn as they're falling down. So, so I thought maybe I should make a design in the shape of a leaf. And I not only made it in a leaf, but I also kind of fringed the edges because I thought maybe that will slow down how quickly it falls. So then I need to place a paper clip or a bobby pin onto it. And I'm gonna start at this end. And I wanna see what happens if I drop it straight down like this. Then I might also wanna test it if I drop it on the side and then bobby pin down. And when I drop it, I'm gonna drop it at the same time as my one I know doesn't do well. And I just wanna see if one takes longer than the other. And if it does, I know that I'm on the right track, but I'm gonna try a lot of different designs. Let me show you some of the other designs I've come up with today. I made a two leaf design that I thought would be kind of cool. Again, dropping like this, dropping like this, and then dropping like this, because we wanna try it paper clip up, paper clip flat, paper clip down, because sometimes that makes a difference. Then I thought, why stop at two leaves? I made one with four leaves. However, this one's a little trickier to keep together. Looks like a butterfly though, doesn't it? Then I tried some that didn't look like leaf designs at all. I tried, what happens if you just fold a piece of paper in half and put the bobby pin on one end? Um, will it look different as it falls? If I drop it this way, then this way, and then this way? I don't know. Then I took a strip of paper and I'm going to loop it like this because a few years ago with my second graders we made hoop gliders and this model kind of reminded me of how we were able to throw hoop gliders through the air. So I'm going to try this one as well and see how that works out. So I just kind of made a cylinder. I also made another model that looks like this one, it's just a smaller version of it. Wasn't sure if a little less weight might help or more air resistance on this one's gonna help. And then I made one that I just folded a sheet of paper in half, because why not? You may come up with a 100 different ways of doing this, but for each one, remember you're gonna test it against the control one, which we know goes the fastest, and then kind of come up with what you think works best out of all of your designs that you build which design works best. And you may notice that for some of my designs, I started with just a plain leaf and then later I fringed it. You can even do that, modify the design or start with a whole new sheet of paper and make a completely new design. Um, all right, have fun and see how slowly you can make your paper clip or bobby pin fall.